Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a Node.js project in our Visual Studio IDE and we have also created a server by making use of Express.js and in the third part, we have covered how to get connected to our MongoDB database by making use of Mongoose. Okay, so you can see the code over here. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a user model where the user will be able to register himself into a user collection database and get signed in into our app by making use of his database okay so let's get started okay so let's create a user model in models folder okay so you can just right click create file and name it as user dot model dot js okay so this will be our mongodb uh, database user model uh, schema so here first of all uh, import mongoose uh, model Okay, and then we, we will also uh, import our database connectivity file that is our configuration we have a database connectivity file so we need to import this also over here. Okay, so now let's create a user schema so for that from our mongoose library we need to import a schema property so you can do something like this const is equal to uh, mongoose okay so inside this we need to define which property you are going to import so we need schema property so you can just define it something like this okay so now let's create a user schema over here so const user schema is equal to new schema okay so inside our database uh, user schema database what are, what all entries we need to store we need to define it over here for example we have username and password that's it okay so you can just define the tuples over here okay and second one is the password okay so email will be of type string okay so by default we need to make the email uh, lower case so you can just pass lower case over here required property will be true okay so email will be a required property and we must keep it unique for every user a unique email will be there so unique okay so the same thing for a password field okay so you can just remove this lower case and uniqueness also so our schema is ready you just need to uh, call the database and uh, create this schema in our database okay so for that const user model is equal to db dot model and you can just name your database collection name okay so i will just name it as user and here we need to pass our schema okay so just pass it over here like this okay so now we need to import this file so that we can make use of this user schema anywhere anywhere in our project okay so just import this using model dot export user model okay so our user schema has been created so let's import this schema in our index.js and let's check if this schema is getting created in our database or no okay you can just import it over here user model require and here you just need to define the path so our path is model user schema okay so now let's run our project and check if our database is getting created or no so to run npm run dev enter okay so it is asking a permission of our database so you can see database has been connected so let's open my mongodb compost and check if our database got created with user schema or no okay so this is my local host okay so you can see my database name was so i just forgot to uh, create a database name over here so let's name it as I will just name it as new to do okay so because I already have a database by to do database 
so I'll just give a database name as something like this okay so let's me restart the our uh, project and let's check okay so after refreshing our uh, mongodb compose for two uh, times i can see our database has been created with a user schema over here okay so that's all for this video tutorial so in our next part we are going to create a api where a user will be able to register himself in this collection database okay so let's meet in our next part